Oh guys, we're so excited. It is that time again, believe it or not, it is basement dweller time. Now, here's a little warning. First of all, if you don't know what the basement dweller videos are, we usually make a compilation of our worst comments, people that leave nasty, weird, creepy, horrible comments to us, and then we have fun with it. We make we fun of them. We ridicule them. them. So, we ridicule them as they should be ridiculed. So anyway, so we're gonna give a little trigger warning today that we're not holding back on this one today. We're gonna have some fun. So if you tend to get offended or right. whatever, please click off this video right now because you're not going to want to Right, if you it. think we're going to be mean and we're going to hurt your feelings, just click off, because you, you might make the next video. So just, <laughs> just be warned. Before we continue, quick reminder, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the notification bell, subscribe button. A lot of our subscribers have been unknowingly unsubscribed. Also a big trigger for people is when we talk about merch, but we're going to do it anyway. So we have our RV in the USA shirt. We're actually at a campground right now in Delaware. We saw one of our subscribers had the shirt, but you know yeah. what they didn't have? They didn't have the RV in the USA yes. embroidered hat because that just came out. This along with the ERV hat is available at our ERV merch store. If you want more information, you're interested in purchasing one, We'll put the link down below. Finally, freebie for everybody, we brought back our monthly newsletter. So if you were signed up for it, there's going to be a link in the description. Just go and sign up again because we are using a different company and some people have been lost in the transition. Yeah. So it's absolutely free. If you haven't been signed up, it doesn't cost anything. You can unsubscribe whenever you want, but in there we have special discounts, what our next adventures are gonna be, kind of wrap ups of different places we've been at. So it's very quick, we'll make it a long read because no. we have the attention span of fifth graders <laughs> and we try to keep it that way. So we'll put that link down below. So a lot of these, I don't even, actually all of them, I don't even know what you're gonna read. I don't know what collection you have. I've answered <laughs> some of them, but there's been so many. She's gonna read this and I'm just kind of react and we'll react as we go along. All right, so this first one, I know what shirt this person's talking about. It says, please tell Izzy that pink shirt with the scene block across his breasts at first glance makes it look like he's going trans. First of all, he's looking at my breast, so <laughs> maybe he's questioning himself. <laughs> Love you guys, appreciate your great content. No reply needed, just trying to help. First of all, are these? Are those breasts? No, those I don't are, think so. Those are You can't do that with breasts. I'm sure he can't do that either. <laughs> I think he's a nice guy. I think he was just concerned that you're going trans. Okay. Trust me, Izzy will never go trans. <laughs> you want to go trans? Go trans. Izzy's not trans. We're all good. The shirt um, wasn't even pink. It's like a no, it like was a, like a like a canyon, orange like rust. a red rock canyon yeah, kind of color. Yeah, yes. I do have pink shirts, and they look awesome, you by the do. way. Like that, dress shirts. That's a true man. If yeah. you can wear a pink shirt or yellow or peach, I don't wear yellow. You have a peach shirt though. I do. That I do. to me as a woman, that's attractive. I'm usually black and and gray. Yeah. Those are usually my colors. Yeah. Okay, next one. I hate when women sell stuff they don't go over the important stuff he likes the word stuff you're a fan of endless yeah. rving i can tell you just didn't put the hashtag before it washer dryer wtf would i need two bathroom sinks obviously he's alone is this on a tour i assume but yes space is always a premium to waste space on two sinks is almost as stupid as two toilets which i have seen closet space is poor for such a large rv the second sink could have been used for more closet space i'm already tuned out on this this moron so no two sinks no two again the guy's a loner obviously he doesn't have anybody yeah. to rv with because if you have a partner you'd probably appreciate two sinks two There's toilets a, a lot of people that get angry first of all they think we sell rvs so they I we don't sell rvs we do rv tours and we have a lot of our subscribers that appreciate that but you got to understand the world doesn't revolve around you because you camp in a tent or a van or whatever you tent which is fine camp it doesn't mean that other people don't like other options but this is right. kind of what we're dealing with but many people are they're like single lane it's what i want and they don't think outside themselves but yeah all those things so the next one this it, makes every video it's an oldie but still hasn't buddy, changed but it's usually it's usually from a different person it's right. not always the same person and this comes from larry bugs walker now if you watch us we always say the people that leave these comments usually have very interesting names and interesting emojis so larry and bugs, even more interesting profile pictures 
Right. It is rude to keep your sunglasses on when you are talking to people. Oh, we have there them we on. go again. Because it's sunny out right now, and I'm going to leave them on. Yeah, you should. And we're going to leave them on inside. Every video now, Bugs, Bugsy, I think is going to wear sunglasses. Here's another one. This is going to be another regular. She comes in and out. Like, she hibernates, but hibernates during the summer. It's going to be Laura Kilmer. If you remember her from our last video, she was the grand finale because there was quite a few insults she threw at us. And then she said she wasn't going to come back, but she did come back and here we go again she's back to insulting us now laura if you're watching we do love your interaction we've said this before we actually wished her the best she's from florida yep. during the hurricane milton that was about to hit we sent her our prayers and thoughts we love laura she just hates us for some reason so okay. i have okay. no idea why I, 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 we've no. never met laura in our life no. but she okay. loves our videos <laughs> she said how do you feel when you were treated snarky this was on one of the campgrounds the nasty <laughs> How do you feel when you're treated snarky or smug? Another awful campground with terrible people running it. Maybe it's all the people from New Jersey. <laughs> and then we said, hi, Laura, we have a special video coming out for you in a few days. You will enjoy it. Thanks I for hope watching Laura that. has the honor of using a rest stop on the New Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> That, that I've used be, it a toilet on the that turnpike. That would be an experience. Next one comes from Horse Dog. That's an awesome name. Oh, no, no. It's Horse Dog 3674. Three, six, seven, yeah, the numbers on Horse Dog. Th which means there unique. must be multiple horse dogs I, out there. I guess so. Now, this next one, we'll put it on the screen, but I'm just going to read it the way it is. You talk too much. So not too, T-O-O-2. -O right. You talk too much. So we're talking too much. And say to little, your, Y-O-U-R, Boring, boring. Do we, I'm not even going to comment on it. Just it, you, it you, could, you get it. Next one. So this was from the rudest campground. Which people love that video. By yeah, the way. some people had been there too. They've experienced that. So well, this person didn't like it. And what a surprise! Their name is slightly stupid. S T O O P I D <laughs> in paradise. Slightly stupid in paradise. Really. Just out yourself. Right. Clickbait. Karen on steroids video. I am a Karen. Yeah, I'm proud of it. I'm not a Karen. It's, it was so ridiculous because we specifically said we were very nice to this person. If I was a Karen, I would have gone off on her. It probably would have made for a good video, but that's not who I am. But here's the thing is that if you go back and watch the video, we'll link it up above. There was multiple people in the comments who had been to that same campground yeah. and received the same kind of treatment. <laughs> so it wasn't just us. Yeah, we just wanted to make people aware yeah. of that place. Right. Right. Now this next one, you have to be a miserable, miserable, I won't say it. Be puck? A mis miserable, miserable puck? Miserable puck. <laughs> To make a comment. Somebody's going to get so angry and offended right. by well, this. Well, it might be Gene Bakett who left this comment, Bakett Bakett. This was his comment. And I think this may have been on a an RV tour or something. This is the only thing that you got out of this video, Gene, which is pretty funny. Need to touch up those roots with, with this emoji. With the <laughs> eye bulging emoji. So let's take a look. Now, look, you might have caught me, Gene. It's like, expensive to get right your hair done. Right before the, the, the root touch up. So I apologize that my roots were not to your liking. But, Gene, from now on, moving forward, I will make sure whenever I get on camera, those roots are touched up Wait, he just didn't, for you. I think we're going to hire a whole makeup team to travel with us. Lighting. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Lighting, hair, Put makeup. Put them all up in a hotel. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll have somebody shave. I'm surprised nobody <laughs> said, right? Is he needs to shave? So I will make sure, Gene, that the roots are ready for you next time. Mwah. So this next one comes from Ernest Bethel 2035. And this was on our video that we did about the 10 year rule on RVs. Now, if you have any reading comprehension skills or listening comprehension skills and watch the full video, which you, they didn't, which they didn't, you would clearly know our stance on the 10 year rule, which is we will camp next to anybody. We could care less, but just keep your RV clean. That's it. And if campgrounds want to do it, that's their choice. Like we don't, we don't care. In the comment, they readily admit they didn't right. watch the video. So this is what he said. The title earned you a lost subscriber. Yes. Yes. We have a 12 year old rig that is cleaner and in better shape than most brand new rigs. Gatekeeping campgrounds is bullshit. And we just said, have a great night. Obviously he's angry. And a lot of people with RVs older than 10 years, which will probably be us one day. Mm -hmm. well, we're not gonna be angry though. We're angry. Like, I don't understand what you're angry about because you just don't just go, don't to, go campground. to that campground. It's like, really that's that what simple. we'll do. Like, or, or maybe you should actually watch the video because it wasn't that long. No, it really was. And like then you, you would have understood that, oh, here are the reasons why campgrounds do it because obviously you don't understand that because you didn't watch the video and you wouldn't leave a comment like that. All right, here's a new one. So newsflash, at this point in our career, we don't get free stays at campgrounds. I mean, we would love to do that. And if that opportunity came up, we would absolutely take it. But we actually did one. 
once. We did once. Yeah, that was the one, one down time. in, in Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky. Yeah. But all the other ones we pay for. We pay for them. Yep. They're on our tax returns because <laughs> we, so, we write them off. But anyway, here here is a, yep. a comment on one of the campground reviews. Again, we don't get anything from this other than you watching the video. We don't get paid by these people. In fact, we try to go to different campgrounds. If we go to the same area, we go to different campgrounds just so we can bring you different Videos. options, right? Yeah. And, and a lot of you almost all of you are very grateful for that. We've gotten a lot of people say, oh, we stayed at that campground. Multiple people, the campground in Lynchburg. Oh, yes, where's that yeah. place you stayed and in Lynchburg? Stay there, and yeah. So it's good, but you, you always have the angry trolls that again, they, they live in a cave or they, they come out of the swamp and they always have to leave their comments. So here we go. This is Mr. Pop War 613, Mr. or Mrs. I don't know. What RV park owner paid you to say this for a free Labor Day weekend stay? Meanwhile, we talked about how we paid with the check Oh, right. That's right. We paid with right. a check. <laughs> because that's all they would accept. And we talked about that in the video. Spoken like a true cop who spends a lot of time justifying stupid rules and laws whose sole purpose is to discriminate and protect the corporate interests. Clown emoji. Which means this person has a lengthy arrest yes. history. They're yes, angry they like at the, the terrible choices they made in their life. And now <laughs> they lash out at others because they don't accept responsibility Correct. for anything they've Which is like many people that annoy us. We said in another video, your position in life is a direct responsibility response to your choices. We tell that Jason all the time. Like you can make whatever excuse you want. You are where you are because of what you've chosen in your life. And right. that's where you're being. And if you're a screw up, then that's pretty much your choice. And that's fine. We <laughs> if have you no get arrested, that's your choice. We have no problem with people that don't decide to do a lot right. with their lives. Which but it's your that's fault. your choice, but then don't blame other people and get angry and envious of other people that don't do that. So this next one was from a video we did <laughs> a, couple years, a couple of <laughs> years a ago. This was at the Baltimore RV show. And we did a video on a Tiffin that was just really kind it of It was nasty. horrendous. Yeah. So it was, the title was the worst Tiffin motorhome we have toured. And a lot of people have watched that video. Well, this Larry Kurt or Kurt X, whatever, didn't like it. And he said, yo, ass wipe in capital letters. This obviously <laughs> was a withheld comment. This wasn't published. It was went to uh, held for review so because funny. of the cursing. If you don't like it, walk out the door and take your worthless self with you. We could do that, but we have a channel. So we had to make a video on it. Of course we did. We have to show people what's going on, but maybe Larry's a Tiffin owner. He just didn't but that, like it. That is closing on 200,000 views. So I don't know, maybe a lot of people did appreciate that so this next one i forget what video it was but you're too close to me it was this, you're here's, choking me here's the comment my main thought is why are there issues with a 10 year old rv oh it was the tenure that's right and perhaps the rv manufacturers need to improve their products get the word out to on which RV manufacturers produce quality RVs. My beef is why does Izzy wear sunglasses? It's not a good look. I also find it freaky and odd when you film yourselves walking as if joined at the hip. So I guess this weirds people out that we love each other and that we like to be close when we're filming. So for those that don't get it, we're doing this on purpose right now. <laughs> we're being sarcastic. Well, we have to, that's a disclaimer because somebody will say, well, that you'll, I'm watching this well, and that, that, that comment's really supporting what they just, what you're doing. Well, we have seen some of the comprehension skills on some of the viewers. So it may be a little uh, tricky for you, but really that's what you say. I love you and I'm going to walk next to you and I'm not going to apologize for it. We did have a, we had a comment. I don't know if it made this, like somebody obviously hates their spouse and like the worst part of RVing is, yeah. is like yeah. being with your spouse. It's like so sad. I, it really is just sad. Just move on your separate ways. I know. Listen, guys, we're, we're not pulling punches here. Some people are just dumb. And this next comment is proof. We're bringing receipts to the table. This is proof that there are just a lot of dumb people or on YouTube and in, in the world. He was trying to just be obnoxious. I don't I think, think he was so. dumb. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> His name is Crispy Steve. Well, you got the screen okay. name. This was on the Coachman Euro that we filmed at the Hershey show. Now, all the Hershey RVs, any RV show that you go to, like these big ones, they're in parking lots. So there's parking spaces. He's watching this. So this one, well, I'll just read the comment for you. Crispy Steve <laughs> said, why is it parked in a handicapped parking spot. I, I mean, know. that's where that's where the Euro was parked. That's so the it, position for the show. Cause, Cause you do realize the Giant Center is not open at that point for events. So the handicapped parking would be in the lot of Hershey Park. It wouldn't be in the lot where all 1500 RVs are parked. They're gonna utilize everything. They're just not gonna leave that handicapped spot open just in case you wanna, do we have to explain it? Do we have to explain it? So then this? Izzy answered, because the owner has a placard. <laughs> so what else do you say? Like, how else do you answer that? I don't even know how to answer that. Hey, Crisp, 
if you're watching, were you joking or? No, he wasn't joking. He was dead serious. Okay. Like he picked that out and he was like really upset and put that down. Next one was on an RV tour. Don't recall which one, something from the show. Well, Mike Weiss said, my God, people, stop promoting this crap and get a real job. Now, if you watch our channel, we've had real she jobs doesn't. forever, right? Izzy's in law enforcement. I was a teacher for many years. I have a dog training cut. Like YouTube is not our main gig. It's, it's a large one and it will be in nine more months will be our full-time gig, but it isn't right now. So we do have real jobs. So you answered. My answer, number one, we are showing you an RV tour on an RV channel. Why are you watching, right? It's an <laughs> RV tour on an RV channel. What do you expect us to show astronauts and space shuttles? <laughs> number two, we have full-time jobs, which you probably would not last one week doing. We'll save travels. We always save travel. Always save end. travel. We wish the very best to everybody. But again, people just they just leave comments because they're angry. They're angry That's for it. they're angry because we anger. we went on an RV that they can't afford or that they don't like. Like I don't understand why people are so angry. Yeah. And you're angry at us showing an RV on an RV channel or us traveling. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand that. Why are you tuned in? It seems this day and age, guys, put in the comments. I know you you got to probably see it too. Every Not everybody. The angerometer is oh, super so high. Like, it is just so high. People are so angry and jealous of other people. Instead of being happy. They're like, so angry of things like they don't have. And this has happened to us so many times, right? Like, people get upset. This is 100% true. If you have something that I don't have and I want it, Yes. I'm going to become your friend because I want to find out how, how you did right. it. There's a tip. In this whole video, here is a tip. <laughs> if there's something you want to be or something you want, find out how to get there because right. I guarantee that person worked really hard mm -hmm. or were smarter than you to get there. So pick their brain. Find that the information is readily available or maybe just speak to them. Right. A lot of people right. will share their knowledge and, and share their success. That is a key. Sitting behind a keyboard and spewing hate is not going to get you anywhere. Here's somebody else that thinks we're RV salesmen, which we are not. We should be. I mean, I, I think know. we would sell a We'd bunch of RVs. Fun. We probably would have fun. Okay, Mr. Ruggles. There we go with the name. You guys, and is there ever any capital letters? Somebody's going to be like... insulted with the last name Ruggles that we meet. The, the, well, my last name's Ruggles. Okay. You just insulted me. If your last name is Ruggles, this is not a personal attack. <laughs> it's just a funny last name, but that's it. Well, it's Mr. Sorry. Ruggles. And it's not like MR. He like wrote out Mr. Ruggles. There is going to be a Mr. Ruggles out there. Okay. You guys hustle RVs like drug dealers at a time when most of the products are crap that eventually fall apart. The horror stories, as you, as you know, are endless here on YouTube. I'm sure you are generating money from the hustle, which is fine, but balance your sales hawk with some reality. And Mr. Ruggles, we do plenty of RV tours where we show, we actually, we were just we talking just about the Tiffin. one, the Tiffin one. And, and we got crap for that. Right. And we've done many others. So we do a good balancing. And again, we're not drug dealers. And, and here's the thing. Yeah, there are a lot of bad RVs, but guys, there are so many good RVs. Uh, there's one right behind us. Okay. And plenty of our friends and subscribers are having wonderful experiences. We just met one at the campground right. yesterday. Yeah. Alliance, how's, Alliance Paradigm. How's your it. RV? Love it. Love it. A couple little problems. Love it. And we're doing a series. We've already done one. We have another one coming in um, October and November where we're highlighting subscribers, wonderful experiences with their RVs. Yes, some RVs are crap, but there are so many people at this campground alone, tons of them, where people are having wonderful experiences. I don't want to keep it. focusing on the, the negativity. The negativity sells and negativity makes a lot of money for right. some people and that's fine, right. right? There are bad RVs out there, but when Absolutely. you only focus on bad RVs and that's all you show, then it tries to show everybody there's only bad RVs. And we're in a park right now with 70 RVs right. and people are out here having a good time. Right. And we said, why are you watching a motorhome tour if you are not interested in one? Better yet, why are you watching an RV channel and upset when we show RVs? It's true. So this woman was really mad. Her name's Robin Anderson. I went to high school with a Robin Anderson. Maybe Robin, it's her. I, that's not you. She was watching one of our RV tours and was just like, again, Jim Carrey. Oh, for meds. Yeah. So she was mad because, so this is what Robin thinks. If there's a wine cooler in an RV, you're an alcoholic. So this is where it was. You do realize it's a cooler. You can put whatever you want in it. Right. It just happens to be yes. a wine cooler. But we all aren't alcoholics. The wine cooler would be wasted. So since Robin doesn't drink or is not an alcoholic, no RV should have a wine cooler. I said, talk about rigid thinking, LOL. Being non-drinkers ourselves, we can appreciate that some people like to drink and some don't. It doesn't make people an alcoholic if they like a wine cooler in their RV. Then she keeps going. And she is like, miss positivity. Only one place to sleep. Who likes camping? 
sleeping alone. I said, she must. I said, you sound like the life of the party. And then in all caps, not impressed. I just said, why are we not surprised? But that's the kind of person we're talking about. Who oh, that is God, your typical you face. life. It's so sad. It's so sad. So sad. And this is so common. And we're going to move right into the next one. And Laura is back. Laura, Laura, we love you, but you got to stop talking about, well, we actually have said the similar thing, but she said all New Jersey people are, are rude. That was on a campground. I said, Laura, we love you and you make our day. You know, talk about people being angry. Like Laura obviously doesn't like us and that's okay. She watches our videos and thank you for watching our videos. That's what helps us stay monetized. But she will go out of the way and leave negative comments on other people's videos about like how terrible, we, like nothing to do with us, just how terrible we are. Well, how miserable are you? Like what a miserable I life. Laura. I always feel well, bad for her. Well, you know, when I told her, I said, we love you and you make our day. She said, thank you and pray for us. We're in the cone of uncertainty, right? We were talking about the hurricane. So really hope that yeah, I don't you know, know she who Laura found is. It. Okay, we've never met Laura. We, you know, never said anything bad to Laura. But again, Laura, we love you. So this is hilarious. This is just funny. Mamus four. You know what I love? I love when people leave comments and we're reading the comments. So when you talk in third person, like they or he or she, like you could say you, like we're reading the comments. So he said 12 minute video in which they are sneaking in and sponsor plus the woman, thank you, creates a sneaky self-promotional infomercial about her dog breeding business. What? Look, look, no one cares you breed dogs. We are looking at RVs. I will never watch this channel again. You're crazy. Why don't you it's sponsor? So crazy. <laughs> Why don't you sponsor a mattress while you're at it? YouTube turning into garbage self-promotion channel. Okay, let's, let's let's go back and break it down a little. So they, you can say you, are sneaking in a sponsor. We're not sneaking in anything. We are very proud of our sponsors of the channel. We have no problem. Which is going to lead us to... Yeah, the sponsor, the this, sponsor video. this video. RVmatches.com by Brooklyn Bedding <laughs> that Mammoth 4 loves. RVmatches by... <laughs> RVmatches.com by Brooklyn Ma Bedding makes RV... <laughs> specific mattresses and they'll have something to fit your rv we've had ours now for well over two years all different types of mattresses you have memory foam coils hybrids of both and they have the new titan plus yeah. for rvers who tend to be a little bit bigger and taller it's going to support you with that new type of mattress and if you want to try out the titan if you don't know if it'll be for you or any other kind of mattress take the 120 night sleep trial that they offer this way you can try it out for a few months and see if it's really for you they also have plenty of other products for home you can get a if you're a part timer get a mattress for home and on your rv they have weighted blankets cooling pillows all that good stuff they're headquartered in the usa they've been a sponsor of our channel for three years probably four yeah, years starting in yeah. 25 which is pretty awesome and they are great supporters of our channel and the RV community in general. And they're just great people. They Plus, are, they make they a are. great product. Since you watched this ad on our channel, Mammoths 4 and anybody else, you get a special discount code. With the discount code... Endless. 30% off. Three, zero. That's going to insult somebody. Three, zero. Oh. Oh, don't do 30 percent off of a purchase from rvmattress.com by brooklyn betting you should go to rvmattress.com forward slash endless use that discount code 30 percent off that is a permanent yes. amount off because we love them and they love us so if you want more information on them go check them out read the reviews we'll put their link down below so was that sneaky enough Did no it's straight sneak forward. it in okay moving along <laughs> the woman creates a sneaky self-promotional infomercial okay i mentioned that i train dogs and by the way there's nothing about dog breeding again listening comprehension that just like went right over your head never have i said anything about breeding dogs i train dogs about her dog breeding business look no one cares you breed dogs why should they because i don't you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at RVs. I'll never watch this channel again. Great. Actually, I want you to watch it because the more you comments you leave, you'll make it into the next basement. And you might buy a Brooklyn bedding. And maybe you'll buy a Brooklyn bedding mattress. Yeah. We're going to get to our final one. And sometimes... Actually, there's two. All right, there's two, two more. Yeah. The last two. <laughs> Sometimes I really do need to like pop things into Google Translate and not because it's in a foreign language. It's just like like a Martian language. I don't understand what people are saying. Maybe it's just because they're typing so quickly. Maybe they just never made it out from second grade. I don't know. So you, you be the judge. MJ is going to read this. I can't even read it. My phone is dying. So I'm going to plug my little charger in here. This comes from Roger Graves. Guys, there's capitalization like some words, some of the yeah, whatever. We'll put this up on the screen. You capital letter U, wanted in caps, the big, these are all capitalized, Some, well, some of them, the big class A motor home, you gonna pay out the yang yang, and then in parentheses, your ass. U-R-A-S-S. U-R-A-S-S. 
You're gonna pay out the yang yang, your ass, three thousand dollars. Not bad. Them joyous don't last. I always got Michelin, Mich it's Michelin, Michelin's because they last. They don't fall to Pisces. You leave a trail Pices. of rubber. <laughs> you leave a trail of rubber behind you. Continental, they're very expensive. I never had no problems out of Continental. Listen, I don't, I don't think somebody without some kind of mental deficiency could leave a comment like this. Like, I don't know. I don't know. This seems like somebody that's a little bit off. At, at, in which point then we- We understand. We and, totally and we... understand and that's fine. But uh, we have met people that are well within their full mental faculties that, that have said things we, like this We've to said us. this to ourselves off camera. You know, some of these comments that we get, we're like, I, I don't understand how some people function. Like there, there's there's in the people world. in the world that, I, I don't know. a lot of them that are just going around, like how do they function? We want your feedback. I'm sure you've encountered people, you've said, how, how do they function daily? And, and we have these conversations. And the last one, this was a video we did recently where every once in a while Izzy likes to, uh, when we have maintenance costs and things like that, a lot of times people are curious as to what is spent on this. So we'll put a video about the maintenance costs that we had. So Edgewood 2441 simply said, who cares? So I wrote, apparently you do since you clicked right. on it. Like you watched the video. And you left a comment so you actually <laughs> did care. And outside of you, a lot of people do care because say you're looking to get a motorhome or you have a, our same motor home and you're getting some kind of service, you're gonna wanna know, well, how much did it cost? Oh, where did you go? They gave you, a, right, right. we've had many, many people go to RV service centers that we've been to and they thanked us. They're like, wow, yeah, those guys yeah. are awesome. They saved us a bunch of money. They found a problem nobody else could, they cared. So yeah, people do care. But again, nobody can think outside of here, right? It's the yep. me world. And, and unfortunately that's a, a lot of people out there. It's the me world, but people do care. That's why we do these videos. That's why we ask you for for your feedback, because we don't know everything. We don't pretend to know everything. We know we don't know everything. We don't really know and, nothing. And how, that was a double negative. That's a double negative, yes. We don't know anything. Guys. We have learned so much from you guys. The amount of comments we've learned about places to go, thing, products to use, things to do. Like, so we thank you for your feedback. But as always, we just like to have fun with this. In the comments below, guys, let us know what was your favorite BD, basement dweller feedback? comment are you a dweller <laughs> you know what are I you a dweller i love when people leave comments just like good subscribers like and they're like you know coming out of the basement to leave a comment like it's so funny i love when i love when our because listen probably 95 percent of our subs are great Amazing. And, and i love when they Amazing. ridicule these fools like in the comments because that, that's what they deserve they deserve to be ridiculed when you leave comments like that and people are going to say oh you shouldn't do that and your kid goes to liberty and that's not the nice way but it's funny it really you got you got to make fun of this stuff because otherwise you, you go fun. crazy you got to have fun we want your feedback guys to the left of us if you like videos like this we're gonna put our rv newbies playlist we'll put our rv tours playlist since you love them so much and we sell rvs and for myself and mj it's a journey of a lifetime we'll, we'll see, see you on the road, road.